All right, well, good morning, everyone. Let me, uh, first of all, just thank everybody for being with us today. I almost feel like we're back in session, but thankfully we're not. But I just uh, want to thank uh, all of you for being here today to help us build on the health care achievements that we've seen over the last several years. And certainly today we're taking important steps to improve the access to and the quality of health care for hardworking Georgians even more. Uh, our great First Lady, Marty Kemp's with us today. And I want to uh, want to also thank Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones for being here today, and Speaker John Burns, along with uh, <laughs> President Pro Tem Kennedy and a lot of other chairmen from both the House and the Senate. Uh, and we'll be talking about those folks here as we go through the pieces of legislation that I'll be proudly signing. I also just wanted to note our. Insurance Commissioner John King wanted to be with us today, but had a prior commitment. But I know he was very involved in a lot of what we were doing this session, and we appreciate that. We also have uh, DCH Commissioner Kaylee Noggle with us today, Department of Public Health Commissioner Dr. Kathleen Toomey. Uh, couldn't be with us because of a prior commitment, but we appreciate her team at Public Health. Uh, DBHDD Commissioner Kevin Tanner is with us today. DHS, DHS Commissioner Candace Broche is with us, and certainly a lot of members from the General Assembly, Assembly and representatives from hospitals and health care providers from all across the state. So welcome to everyone. Since day one, my administration has worked to bring innovation to Georgia's health care system. Those innovations helped us fight through an unprecedented challenge of the pandemic and continue to bring results for hardworking Georgians, especially when you think about lowered insurance premiums. And with the help of those here today and others throughout the state, we expanded Medicaid coverage to a full year after eligibility, after eligible mothers give birth. And I'm proud to say that the state is still on track for a July 1st launch date of the Georgia Pathways Program, the first program of its kind in in the country. Officials estimates are that over 345,000 Georgians could qualify for Medicaid coverage under the Pathways program. To build on the successes and to further support expectant mothers, my team introduced House Bill 129 this year to allow pregnant women who qualify to receive TANF benefits. Previously, they were unable to apply for this form of assistance until after the child was born. This was a promise I made during my State of the State address this year, and today, once I sign it into law, it will be another promise kept. I want to especially thank Representative Sue Hong, who introduced this legislation for us, and Senator Mike Hodges for carrying it in the Senate. I also want to thank Representative Sharon Cooper, who's with us today, and Senator Kay Kirkpatrick, who, who's with us today, for ushering this bill through their committees as well as the team from the Department of Human Services for their work on this important measure. Georgians know their needs and those of their families best. The next bill I will sign today, SB 65, gives Georgians what they deserve, a better way of knowing and comparing their health care insurance options. That's what the state-based health insurance exchange created by this legislation will do, bringing further competition to the field. I want to recognize Senator Ben Wyson for sponsoring this bill and Representative Eddie Lumson for carrying it in the House. Senator Larry Walker, who's here with us today, was also very helpful in securing passage. And I certainly want to mention again our Insurance Commissioner John King and his team, both for what they're doing to help insurance beneficiaries all across our state and for the work that they put into this piece of legislation. House Bill 85 is yet another way we're helping Georgians with life-threatening conditions find hope. This bill requires that health insurance plans cover biomarker testing, which can guide patients to the right treatment options. Representative Sharon Cooper sponsored this valued legislation, and Senator Kay Kirkpatrick carried it in the Senate. Again, Representative Eddie Lumson and Senator Ben Watson were also instrumental getting this through their committees. 
I'll also sign House Bill 203, which allows for low risk, which allows for low risk patients to renew their contact lens prescriptions through telemedicine. This form of health service has already reduced cost and increased access in other ways, so it's only fitting that we expand it further. I want to thank Representative Mark Newton for introducing the bill and Senator Matt Brass for carrying it in the Senate. I also want to thank Representative Lee Hawkins, who's with us today, and again, Senator Ben Watson for working on this bill and their committees. House Bill 295 that will also receive my signature updates arbitration requirements for surprise billing disputes, further protecting patients and consumers in Georgia. Representative Lee Hawkins sponsored this legislation and Senator Chuck Huffstetler carried it in the Senate. I again want to thank Representative Eddie Lumson and Senator Larry Walker for working on this bill and their committees, as well as Commissioner King and his team at the Insurance Department. I'll then sign House Bill 315, which clarifies mammogram screening guidelines for health insurance plans. I know the First Lady would want me to take this opportunity to encourage all women 40 and older to talk to their health care provider about when and how often to get checked. I also want to thank Representative Darlene Taylor, who's with us today, for sponsoring the bill, and again, Senator Kay Kirkpatrick for carrying it in the Senate. Again, Representative Eddie Lumson and Senator Larry Walker were very instrumental in the committee process. Our health care heroes have always been incredible, but as we saw during the pandemic, their day-to-day -day impact was truly on display. They had our backs during a very fearful time, and now it's only right that we have theirs. This morning, I will proudly sign HB 383, which increases penalties for anyone who assaults a health care worker. It also permits hospitals to establish campus police units for rapid response events. I want to thank Representative Matt Reeves for sponsoring this legislation. Is Matt here with us this morning? Matt, and congratulations. Your first bill, a meaningful one in the General Assembly. I also want to thank Senator Ben Watson, who carried the bill in the Senate, and Representative Tyler Paul Smith for his work on this legislation. And to help those who are most on the front lines of the war on COVID, I will sign House Bill 493, which allows nurses working in federally licensed health care facilities to qualify for continuing education exemptions. Representative Matt Hatchett introduced this legislation, and Senator Larry Walker carried it in the Senate. Again, Representative Lee Hawkins and Senator Bill Cousert, who's here with us today, also contributed this bill as it worked its way through their committees, and I want to thank them as well. I'll then sign uh, Senate Bill 27, which clarifies rules related to health insurers and eye care providers, sponsored by Senator Matt Brass and carried in the House by Representative Matt Gamble. I also, again, want to thank Representative Eddie Lumson and Senator Larry Walker for their work on this bill in the committee process. Senate Bill 46 that I'll also sign upstate updates prenatal testing requirements for STDs to align with current public health standards. I want to thank Senator Chuck Huffstedler for sponsoring the bill and Representative Sharon Cooper for carrying it in the House. Additionally, I'd like to extend my thanks to Senator Ben Watson for his work on this bill when it was in committee. Senate Bill 106 will also help us take another step in improving maternal mortality, something that we're very excited about and something I know that Dr. Toomey and her team are as well. The bill codifies the Department of Public Health's Maternity Health Home Visiting Pilot Program, benefiting Georgia expectant mothers in need. Again, I want to thank Senator Larry Walker for sponsoring the legislation and for Sharon Cooper carrying it in the House. I also want to thank Dr. Toomey and her team, as well as Commissioner Noggle and her team, for, work this, for their work on this program and for ensuring that it will now help a greater number of pregnant Georgians. I also, again, want to thank the Lieutenant Governor and the Speaker and the members of both bodies that have had this at the forefront over the last several years. Your work has been important for our state 
and for our future. Last but not least, I'll sign Senate Bill 223, which allows cancer clinical trial sponsors to reimburse participants for travel and other expenses. This will help even more of those in need of hope to find opportunity for advanced treatments. Senator Ben Watson introduced this legislation and Representative Lee Hawkins carried it in the House. I truly believe that Georgia, as I say many times and will continue to say, is the best state to live, work, and raise a family. And to keep it that way, we need quality health care options for our citizens. All of the bills I will now sign were designated with that in mind, and I cannot thank everyone here enough for them being a part in that shared goal that we have under this gold dome. I also want to emphasize that this is an ongoing effort and that we will continue to add to that we will continue to add to in coming legislative sessions. Now with that we'll move to the table and the staff will call up the folks that are interested in these bills and we hope you will join us as we sign these into law. Again, thank you all for being with us today. All right, we have a lot of bills to sign. Instead of people shifting up and down these marble steps to get to each one, if you had anything to do with any of the bills today, please join us up on the stairs. Anyone who worked on any of the legislation that's being signed, please join us on the stairs. We will call out each bill as it is signed. The first bill the governor will sign is HB 129, HB 129. Next up is SB 65, Senate Bill 65. <laughs> yeah. 
Next is House Bill 85, HB 85. HB 203, House Pill 203. House Bill 295, HB 295. House Bill 315, HB 315. House Bill 383, HB 383. House Bill 493, HB 493.
Senate Bill 27, SB 27. Senate Bill 46, SB 46. Senate Bill 106, SB 106. Senate Bill 223, SB 223, this is the last bill that the governor will sign. 